On our roads today, we frequently encounter traditional cars powered by internal combustion engines, which remain more affordable than the emerging electric vehicles EVs gradually replacing them. Governments across the globe are actively working to reduce harmful CO2 emissions to safeguard our planet. One of their key strategies is promoting the adoption of electric vehicles. In the automotive industry, three major regions, China, Europe, and America, are at the forefront of supporting this transition. However, a significant challenge persists. Electric vehicles are more expensive than their diesel or petrol counterparts. This price disparity isn't solely due to the ongoing development of EV technology but also stems from the high cost of materials required for their production. China, fortunately, holds a distinct advantage in this regard. The country has easy access to the raw materials needed for manufacturing electric vehicles, reducing its reliance on other nations. This self-sufficiency helps China mitigate the high costs associated with EV production. A notable example is Geely, a Chinese automotive brand, which has made a bold move to address the affordability issue by introducing a new electric car priced at just $6,000. But who exactly is Geely, and is this car truly worth its price? Let's delve into how China is revolutionizing the EV industry with this remarkably affordable vehicle. Globally, there are over 1.4 billion internal combustion engine vehicles on the roads, contributing significantly to CO2 emissions that harm our environment. However, the automotive industry is undergoing a profound transformation, with electric vehicles playing a pivotal role in reducing our dependence on oil. By 2030, the shift toward electrification is expected to eliminate the need for 5 million barrels of oil per day. Over the past three years, the electric vehicle market has experienced exponential growth, with sales surpassing 10 million units, accounting for 14% of all new car sales. This marks a substantial increase from just 9% in 2021 and less than 5% in 2020. By 2022, there were over 26 million electric cars on the roads worldwide, reflecting a staggering 60% increase from the previous year. Despite this impressive growth, experts believe the electric vehicle industry is still in its early stages. By the end of 2023, it is projected that 14 million EVs will be sold, potentially making up 18% of all car sales. Geely's initiative could significantly accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles, making them more accessible globally and speeding up the transition to a greener future. The UK government, for instance, has set a target to ban the sale of new petrol and diesel cars by 2035, aiming to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Currently, there are 39 million vehicles on UK roads, but only 27,000 new electric cars were registered last year. Studies suggest that if all cars in the UK were electric, carbon emissions would drop by nearly 12%. Interestingly, electric cars are not a recent invention. In the late 19th century, 90% of taxis in New York were electric. However, the mass production of affordable internal combustion engine vehicles by Henry Ford and others reshaped the automotive landscape, sidelining electric cars for decades. This shift is unfortunate, as electric vehicles boast a simpler design, consisting of electric motors, a battery, and a controller. This eliminates the complexity of moving mechanical parts found in traditional engines and reduces the energy required for manufacturing. Just as Henry Ford and other automotive pioneers found ways to produce affordable internal combustion engine vehicles, Chinese EV manufacturers are now leading the charge in making electric cars more accessible. China's thriving automobile industry, combined with its easy access to raw materials, enables manufacturers to produce EVs quickly and at lower costs. These vehicles not only come with attractive price points but also offer impressive standard features. European consumers, in particular, are increasingly seeking affordable electric vehicles. Patrick Collar, CEO of Forvia, has noted that China is producing high-quality vehicles, making it difficult for Europe to curb imports. This situation poses a greater challenge for Europe than for the United States, as the average price of electric cars in Europe has risen since 2015, while prices in China have dropped, making EVs cheaper than petrol cars. Chinese EV manufacturers benefit from lower research and development expenses, capital spending, and labor costs compared to their European and American counterparts. Currently, China holds approximately 5.8% of Europe's electric vehicle market share, according to the French auto consultancy Innovef. This share is expected to grow significantly in the coming years as Chinese brands introduce more cost-effective models. However, 
High import duties imposed by the U.S. have limited China's presence in the American market. Many consumers in the U.S. prefer familiar and trusted brands like Toyota, Volkswagen, Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz, making the switch to Chinese brands a significant leap. Despite these challenges, Chinese EVs have earned five-star safety ratings from European regulators, countering perceptions of lower quality. Geely Group, for instance, has set an ambitious goal of selling 600,000 electric vehicles in 2023. The company's strategy includes focusing on micro-EVs, with its main competitor being the Wuling Mini EV, which was China's top-selling micro-EV in 2022. The Wuling Mini EV sold over 554,000 units that year, with total sales surpassing 1.1 million. Geely's Panda Mini EV, designed to compete in this segment, features a compact and boxy style similar to the Wuling Mini EV and the Jigulo Ice Cream. However, Geely has added playful design elements, such as round headlights referred to as cute big eyes, and side mirrors dubbed bare ears. The Panda Mini EV boasts a modern and clean interior, complete with a 9.2-inch instrument panel and an 8-inch central touchscreen that supports various functions, including a camera, electric air conditioning, Bluetooth, and remote control. The car also features a 64-inch fixed panoramic roof, allowing natural light into the cabin. With support for 22kW DC fast charging, the Panda Mini EV can charge from 30% to 80% in just 30 minutes. While it is primarily designed for inner-city travel, the car offers two powertrain options, a 27-horsepower variant with a range of 120 km and a 40-horsepower version with a range of 200 km. Prices range from $5,800 for the base model to $7,800 for the top-tier version, making it an incredibly affordable option. The success of the Panda Mini EV has sparked intense competition among Chinese EV manufacturers. One notable competitor is the Wuling Bingo, a small electric car produced by SAICGM Wuling under the Wuling brand. The Bingo offers two powertrain options, a basic version with 40 horsepower and a more powerful variant with 67 horsepower. Both versions have a top speed limited to 62 miles per hour. The car also provides two battery choices, a 17.3 kWh battery offering a range of 200 km and a 31.9 kWh battery enabling up to 330 km on a single charge. If the number of affordable electric vehicles available in China were also present in Europe and America, the total sales of new EVs in both continents would likely double. This highlights the potential for Chinese manufacturers to drive global adoption of electric vehicles, accelerating the transition to a more sustainable future.